Hi guys, welcome back to the ride. So again, this is Engineer HB and we're going to discuss today uh, chapter 17, bearings. Of course, under pa rin ito ng machine design. So it's been a busy uh, week or months for me kaya matagal tayong hindi nakapag-upload but uh, we're still trying our best to finish all of the topics for the machine design and hopefully next ma-discuss naman natin or masagutan naman natin mga passport exam problems para sa pipe or power industrial plant engineering. So, let us proceed. So, bearings, ano daw yung bearings? Wherever there is relative motion between two machine members, the member which control, guides, or supports the other is known as bearing. So, this is a very technical uh, definition of the bearings. So, siya daw ay isang relative motion na kung saan siya ay nagko-control nagaguide at nagsusuport sa kasama. So bearing, alam naman natin na ginagamit siya industrial. In industrial uses, makikita natin siya commonly of course on uh, machineries, especially sa mga working dyan. We are all familiar with other types of bearings. So meron tayong dalawang uri ng bearings or dalawang classification ng bearings according to application. So this is the first classification. Classification of bearings according to load application. So the, these are the three uh, major types of these bearings according to load application. We have the radial, the truss, and the guide bearing. Second is we classify bearings according to friction element. So those are sliding, ball, roller bearings, and needle bearings. So ang matatakal natin dyan mostly, itong is sliding bearing. Okay, so under bearing, we have this uh, Newton's law on fluids na tinatawag. So we already, uh, I think somehow this was discussed on our physics days, pero balikan lang natin. So since this is a bearing discussion, let us uh, imagine there is a plate here. And my plate dyan. And my plate din dito. Of course, kapag usapan bearing, hindi mo wala yung lubricant. So, sabihin natin ito yung plate. Ito yung plate. Of course, uh, just imagine itong plate na to ay malapit na magkiskisan pero it, uh, something is preventing and that is the lubricant. So, lagyan na natin ng dotted lines dito. Yan yan. Kinyari siya ay yung lubricant. Of course, pag-usapang kiskisan, especially on machine design and strength of materials, we, we are talking about the shearing stress. So let us imagine there is a force here that is represented by Fs because it is a shearing force. Yan. And of course, if there is a shearing force here, we can create a velocity profile here. So exaggerated na natin, sabi na natin, it's varying from nothing to maximum velocity. So this is our maximum velocity. And this is our the height of the lubricant or thickness ng lubricant. So we can say that this thickness is also applied here. And what will be the formula that we're going to use here? So, oh, ayan, humalo. No? So, siya is shear, shear stress. Malo yung drawing sa word. So, shear stress, of course, is always represented by tau. And that is uh, basically force over area. So, the force here is the shearing force over area. And that is equal to uv over h. And our shearing force is equal to uh, u times a times v times h. So, what is what are these parameters? So, unahin muna natin si U. So, that was the absolute viscosity. So, bakit ba nagkaroon ng absolute viscosity? So, that is came from Fs over A, which is the shearing stress, is directly proportional to velocity over the height. Kaya nagsulat ako kanina dito ng velocity and height ng fluid. So, of course, if this is direct proportion, so we may say that Fs over A is equivalent to 
So there is a proportionality constant, and that is the U, which is the absolute viscosity. Okay, so yung unit niya mamaya ay makikita natin. And of course, yung A natin is yung area. V is velocity. And of course, this H is our height of the lubric, uh, height of the lubrication. So, which tends to show here at our early drawing. Yan siya si letter H. So, how about other formulas? So, we, as I said earlier, we will discuss the sliding bearing or parenthesis journal bearing. And so, let us have a uh, bearing here. So, ang bearing natin ay itong underlined. So, palitan lang natin ito. So, this is our bearing. And so, ito daw ay bearing. And of course, we have this uh, journal. So, yung journal natin. Journal shaft. So, ang journal shaft is represented by small d. Of course, which is the diameter. And ito naman, capital D represents the bearing diameter. So, dalawa lang naman yan. Capital D is for bearing diameter. And small d is for the journal diameter. At ito namang dotted line, ito yung oil or pinaka-lubricant natin. Okay? So, there are so many letters involved here. So, merong letter F, may letter E, may H pa minimum. So, what are those parameters? Of course, F commonly uh, represents radial load, D bearing diameter, D journal diameter, and of course, this L represents the length of the bearing. Okay. So, meron din naman tayong H minimum dito. Ibig sabihin siya yung minimum film thickness. So, kagaya sa pag-represent natin kanina ng Newton's law on fluids. And of course, there are so-called diametral clearance. So, meron tayong formula sa diametral clearance na capital D minus small d or the bearing diameter minus journal diameter. And of course, if we have the diameter clearance, meron naman tayong radial clearance, which is just a diametral clearance over 2. Kasi D minus D rin siya. So it can represent also a diametral clearance over 2. So parang radius over, uh, radius is equal to diameter over 2 lang siya. And of course, we have this bearing pressure here. So, bearing pressure, we all know that pressure is always force over area. And that is your force. And this is your area, which is length. Ito yung length times diameter. So, wag malilito. The diameter you're going to use to get the bearing pressure is the bearing diameter, of course. Not the journal diameter. That is why capital B ang nakalagay dito. And of course, mayroon tayong nakikita ng small e sa drawing and that is the eccentricity of the journal which is the difference of the radial clearance minus the minimum film thickness. So just imagine na lang sa drawing the amount of E if you're going to deduct the radial clearance which is the half of the diametral clearance minus the minimum film thickness. So ito si H min dito at ito si letter E. Okay, so hindi naman nawawala sa machine design, si torque and friction. So we have uh, so-called Petrop's equation. So this equation is used on light application only. So we're going to see this term on later problems. So ang sabi, teka, purayin lang natin sa let's see. yung word na light application. So, kaya tamaan yung formula. Okay. Alright. So, this TF is 4U pi squared R cubed LNS over CR. So, okay. kayo na bahala mag uh, bato ng mnemonics. 
And of course, ang sabi, CTF is yung frictional torque. That's why it is Petrov's equation for frictional torque. This is your absolute viscosity. And of course, your R here is the journal radius. So take note, guys. This is journal radius, not uh, bearing uh, radius. Okay, so kailangan mo, kapag, kailangan mo lang kunin si journal radius kapag may given kang journal shop diameter and just divided by 2. So how about the unit analysis here? Okay. So ano ano pa yung iba? So we have this TF as frictional torque which is Newton mm and kadalasan is pounds inch. So si absolute viscosity mamaya pakita natin anong unit siya in order to save time siguro sa problem solving na lang tayo mag unit analysis. Of course pi squared is uh dimensionless. So si R is journal radius so ikopya mo siya. So L is of course the actual bearing length and ns is rps of the journal so if you see a revolutions per minute on the problem of course just divided by 16 or therefore to get the rps or the revolutions per second and of course this cr is our radial polar so we're going to see the unit analysis later kapag may tanong na petrop's equation and kailangan mapalabas natin si Newton mm sa metric at si pounds inch sa English. Okay, so take note guys. Sa mga formulas, please lista and pakikabisa. Okay, so we have this frictional torque on bearings. So sinasabihin naman sa problem if we're going to use the Petrop's equation for frictional torque or for frictional torque on bearings. So Torque is just a force times radius. And we all know that for a radius is also diameter over 2. So we can say that torque is Fd over 2. So it's almost the same on this formula. So frictional torque in bearings is represented by Tb is equal to F times Fd D over 2. So what is this small Fb? So this is your friction coefficient. So, F times F, B, normally it, times diameter over 2. So, take note, since this is bearing, so this is a bearing diameter. So, para madali mo matandaan, it is just torque is equal to force times diameter over 2. Lagyan mo lang ng coefficient of friction. And of course, is our unit here is Newton mm and pounds inch. And of course, kapag mayroon tayong torque, hindi mawawala yung power. So that was power loss in bearings. It is torque multiplied by speed over K. So in order for us to arrive in kilowatts, our torque is uh, Newton mm dapat. Ang ating speed is in RPM. And we have this 9.549 times 10 raised to 6. At kung gusto naman natin mag-arrive sa HP, Ang torque natin should be in pounds inch, our speed should be in RPM, and our constant is 63,025. Okay, so what are uh, these two here? So we have these two uh, unit. So meron tayong unit kapag usapang bearings. We have this ring and one poise. One rain is equivalent to pound second inch squared. Or pwede natin sabihin din na one PSI second kasi pounds per inch squared is second. So gamitin si PSI second kapag English ang gamit. Pero kapag metric lahat ng units and we're looking for kilowatts or newton millimeter, just convert this PSI to megapascal. And in every 14.7 PSI, we have 0 0.101325 megapascals or 101.325 kilopascal. And the basis of this is, of course, this is the equivalent of one atmospheric pressure. And kung merong rain tayo, meron tayong yung poise. So one dine sec centimeter squared. So bago ako makalimutan, these two uh, represents the unit of the absolute uh, viscosity. Yung kanina natin tinuoy na yun. Okay. 
So this is just a review of the formulas. We're going to answer now a problem solving. Okay, so number one. The main bearings of a one-cylinder steam engine are 152 mm diameter and 280 mm long and support a load of 4,400 kilograms. The bearings are well ventilated and are heavy in construction. The coefficient of friction in bearings is 0 0.017. Frank shaft rotates at 450 RPM. Bearing diameter clearance is 0.152 mm. Determine the unit loading per bearing so the question is overwhelming because it has so many given units and numbers but we are just looking for loading per bearing and kapag sinabing loading unang papasok sa isip natin is force but look at the choices the choices in is, is in PSI so Matic the question is looking for pressure and as per our previous uh, slides, our pressure is just equivalent to force over area and that area is equal to length times bearing diameter. Of course, we're uh, looking for force muna and we saw a kilograms here and sabi support a load. So automatically that was our actual load and that is 4,400 kilograms. But take note, guys, kapag lumabas ito sa board exam, just divide the force into two. Bakit? Kasi sa steam engine, so I think there are mini there's minimum of, uh, either a minimum of two bearings. So just divide it and just label it as F prime. So that was 2,200 kilograms. And since we are looking for PSI, we all know that PSI is pounds per inch squared, but the given numbers are in metric. So, kunin na lang natin in megapascal and mamaya natin i-convert sa PSI. And we all know that in order to get PSI, we should get the force in pounds and this area is in inches squared. So, since this is kilograms, convert muna natin siya into newtons. So, times mo lang siya ng gravity, 9.81 kilogram per square meter. And that will be 21,582 newton. Okay. So, meron na tayong newton. So, the plan is to convert the megapascals into PSI. So, we're not going to convert this in pounds na. Okay. So, meron na tayong force. So, Kailangan bago tayo mag-arrive sa megapascals, our force should be in newton and our area here, here should be in square millimeter. Okay, so what are those area? So meron tayong 150 millimeter diameter. Ito yung bearing natin. And we have this 280 millimeters long. So wala namang ibang sinabing long kundi yung 280. So that will be... 280 mm. So, direct substitution. So, our pressure will be 21. 582 Newton. Divided by 152 and 280. So, expect that the answer is in megapascals. So, we have this 0 0.507 megapascals. And we all know in every one atmospheric pressure, there is 0 0.101325 megapascals. And of course, there is 14.7 PSI in every one atmospheric pressure. So expect that the answer should be in PSI. So ang sagot ay 73.53. PSI. So the answer is, of course, sun and letter D, 73.57 PSI. And be aware, guys, that the choices, nirarambol yung mga digits. Kaya be careful kasi minsan sa sobrang overwhelm natin, unang tingin, 
baka ibang letter yung mga shade natin lalo na magkakatabi yung at magkakamuka yung digits. Okay, so proceed to the second question. Sabi, determine the friction loss per bearing. And kanina sa formula natin, we all know that the friction loss per bearing. So, kilonewton meter ang choices. So, we're talking about torque. Our formula for that is Tb is equal to F times Fb times capital D or the bearing diameter all over 2. And we have this force na in newton kanina. So, that was 21,582 newton times the friction. Ang sabi kanina, the coefficient of friction is 0 0.017. And ka our capital D here is point R or 152 mm all over 2. And expect the answer is in newton mm. So, that was... So that was uh, 27,883.94 Newton mm. So just divide it by 1 million in order for us to arrive kilonewton meter because there is 1,000 Newton in 1 kilonewton and 1,000 mm in 1 meter. So that was 0 0.02795. Kilonewton meter. And the answer is obviously letter A. Again, be careful. The digits of the answer are uh, rumbled in other choices. And kahit hindi mo nga i-divide na sa 10 raised to 6 to eh. Kasi matik, if you see the 27, so ito lang naman ang choices na may 27. So the answer is letter A. Okay, so determine the friction loss. Automatic. Ang ating choices is in power. So, balikan lang natin. Ang torque natin ay 0 0.027 kilonewton meter or 27,883 point 94 kilonewton a newton m so kanina din ko that the power is torque multiplied by speed over constant and since this is kilowatt our torque should be in newton mm good thing nagcompute na tayo ng newton mm kanina bago tayo mag-arrive sa kilonewton meter and our n should be in rpm and our constant is 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 before we arrive power in kilowatts. So we have this 27.83.94 Newton mm. So everything pala is uh, just a direct substitution. We just need to return to the earlier slide in order to see what is the RPM. So, isa lang RPM na given and matik yan yun. So, that was the crankshaft rotation at 450 RPM and divided by constant. So, the answer is... one point thirty one kilowatts. So, the friction loss is 1.31 kilowatts. So, basically, the answer is letter B. Again, the <laughs> choices are rumbled. So, may 1.31 ka? May 1.13 ka doon? May 3.11 ka doon? So, baka malito lang kayo. So, the purpose naman of these closed choices is to uh, make us more strict on our choosing the answer. Dahil minsan kapag nakuha natin sagot, no overwhelm time. Okay, so we have this fourth question. A journal bearing with a diameter of 55 mm is subjected to a load of 4,500 newtons while rotating at 200 rpm. If the coefficient of friction is taken as 0.2, 
and the length to diameter ratio is 3.0 find the pressure on the bearing so this is an easy one i think we all know that pressure is force over length times diameter and since the choice is in megapascal kailangan si f is in newton si length is in mm and of course diameter is in mm okay so we have a loan force here so that was automatically the load so that was 4500 newtons ang sabi bearing with a diameter of 55 mm so matik si d ay 55 mm na we are looking for the length pero may ibang given na ratio and that was the length over d is equal to 3 meaning length is 3 times the diameter and that was 3 multiplied by 55 mm and that is 165 mm. So everything is a direct sub. Pwede mo nang hindi isulat to sa scratch. It can be direct uh, input on the calculator. So that was 4,500 divided by 165 mm and divided by 55 mm so the answer is in megapascals so that was 45 over 165 divided by 55 and the answer is 0 0.4958 megapascal so since the choices is uh, rounded up so obviously this will be rounded in 0 0.5 megapascals so the answer obviously is letter A. Okay, so our last question for uh, this video. Okay. A shop revolving at 1740 RPM. So is supported by a bearing with a length of 105 mm and a diameter of 64 mm. If the load is light and SAE oil is SAE oil 20, so that was Society of Automotive Engineers. It was a definition of the SAE. Baka lang lumabas sa board at the one point agad. SAE oil 20 is used with an average temperature of 65 degrees Celsius and a diameter clearance of 1.136 mm. What will be the loss of power due to friction? Use U is equal to 2.4 times 10 to the negative 6 veins. Okay, since binigyan tayo ng U, which is the absolute viscosity, matic we're going to use here, the Petrov's equation, at sinabi kasi dito, if the load is light. So, nabanggit ko na to kanina, that Petrov's equation is applicable in the load, a uh, light load bearing. So, ayun, ito ang gagamitin natin. So, the Petrov's equation is Four multiplied by the absolute viscosity times the square pi times IR cube times the length times the RPS or the revolutions per second all over CR. At kapag nakuha natin yung torque, hindi doon natatapos kasi the choices is in power. So we are going to use the power is equal to torque times speed over constant. And since the power is in kilowatts of choices, Again, we're going the we're going to use the constant of nine point five four nine times ten raised to six, and our n should be RPM, and of course our torque should be in newton mm. And obviously, that torque is the Petrov's equation. So, kailangan mapalabas natin si newton mm. Okay, so how are we going to show that? So we all know that the absolute viscosity is 2.4 times 10 to the negative 6 rings. And we all know in one ring, there is a 1 PSI second. So, burayin ko na si PSI. Sabihin na natin. And then, pwede naman. Sige, sige. 1 PSI. And in every 1 atmospheric pressure, there is 14.7 PSI. And there is 0 0.101325 mega. Pascals. So that was 2.4 times 10 raised to the negative 6 
times 101325 divided by 14.7. Teka, may sobra akong napindot. Kaya pag uh, matanda, napapas man lang naman. So that was 1.65 times 10 to the negative 8. Lagay ko na Newton per square millimeter second. That is for the megapascal. That was 1 Newton per square millimeter. Okay, so I think everything is in metric form na. Para mapalabas natin si Newton mm. Pero isa-isayin muna natin. So meron tayong absolute viscosity. So we're going to find out the R or the journal radius. So wag malilito. This is small r. And that is the radius of the journal, not the bearing. So pwede natin sabihin that R is equal to small d over 2. So sa natin siya mahahanap. Okay. Ang sabi... Ang sabi daw ay bearing, may diameter daw na 64 mm. So that was the capital D. At meron din sinabi kaninang diametral clearance na 0.136 mm. So we all know that diametral clearance is the difference of two diameters, the bearing and the journal. And in this point, we can get this small diameter because we have a given of CD and that was point 136 mm is equal to 64 minus D. So our D is 64 minus 136. So that was 63.864 mm. And we're going to divide it by 2 to get the small radius or journal radius. So we have the 31.932 mm. Okay, so it's i lang natin yung mga given para madali nating makita. Okay. So meron tayong R. So L, ang L natin is sabi with a length of 1 or 5 mm. So matik. Yan yan. Hirap pag usmado talaga. Okay, so L is 105 mm. So NS, so NS is your revolutions per second. And the only given revolution here is 1740 RPM. And just divided by 60 in order for you to get the RPS. So wag malilito sa N dito. Ang N natin sa paggamit ng power is RPM. But ang N natin to get the Petrov's equation or torque is in seconds. So, 1740 should be divided by 60. And we have this 29 revolutions per second. Alright. So, ang nag-iisa na lang natin hanapin is itong CR. CR is... We all know that that, that was CD over 2. And we all know that meron tayong giving CD kanina which is the 0.136, so just divided by 2. So we have this 0 0.068 millimeter. So everything ay nakalatag na. So we're just going to direct substitute that. So kailangan lang natin ng malaking space. So punin na natin itong natitirang space na to. Kasi kailangan sa unit analysis so our Petrov's equation or torque should be 4 times 1.65 times 10 to the negative 8 newton per square millimeter times pi squared. So this is dimensionless. So we have this R cube. Nasan si R? So that was 31.932 mm. Of course, that was cube. Multiply by length. So, dito ko na iuso dahil hindi na siya. So, our length is 105 mm. Multiply by revolutions per second. So, nakalimutan natin kanina yung seconds dito. So, 
the seconds pa pala dito, all over CR, which is 0 0.068 mm. So how are we going to show that torque should be in Newton mm? Of course, seconds is cancelled. So we have this square millimeter here and cubic millimeter here. So this will be up, up, cancel na. So mm na lang matitira. At meron tayong mm sa ilalim. And everything is fine. Ang natira sa taas is Newton mm. So our torque based on Petrop's formula is 4 times 1.65 10 times 10 raised to negative 8 times pi squared times 31.932 cubed times 105 times 29 by, by 0 0.068. So we have this 949.73 Newton mm. So tandaan nyo lang yung mga ginamit nating units. So para kapag sa board exam, salpakan na lang ng salpak sa calcul. At kung power naman, at sakto English na may mga units, so just replace the newton by pounds and the millimeter by inches. Pero kung inaanap naman ng horsepower at metric ang given, so you can uh, use this process and saka nyo na i-convert yung horsepower into kilowatts or kilowatt to horsepower so, kung saan kayo convenient. And as I said earlier, it doesn't end here. We need to get the power. Kasi ang choices ay nasa kilowatts. So dito na lang sa side na to. Para ma-minimize ang pagbura. At saka ang oras. So our power is 949.73 newton mm multiplied by 1740 hindi 29 gagamitin na kasi rpm ay nahanap eh divided by 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 so our power here is 9.549 So, notice that the choices is in rounded form. Obviously, this is rounded to 0.20 kilowatts. So, the answer is 0.2 kilowatts. Obviously, this is letter B. Okay. So, that's all for our bearing topic. And I hope you learned something, especially the Petrops equation. So, para sa akin, sana wag lumabas sa board yan kasi napakahaba. And that, that's, that was uh, only a one point. No, para na lang kung ang isang problem ay nagbigay ng uh, five questions at kabisado mo si Petrops, then that would be a bonus. Ayun, thank you guys sa pakikinig and see you sa next video. So ang next video natin is all about rebets and welds. Thank you for listening and good luck sa inyong review. Bye-bye.